there's always an option for the uh, electric motor. The people there were using air blocks to sail a boat, so... Oh, hi there! Welcome back to my new video! First of all, I'm sorry about the delay. I know I promised this video like two months ago, but the reason is that I've been working a lot as a photographer and um, most of the jobs that I had have been up the north part of Finland and uh, my boat is on the south, so I've been staying there for like three or four weeks now and I just haven't got the time to be on my boat and do these videos. Yeah, But the good thing is that I'm working and I'm making money and uh, money means that I can start to uh, sail around the world next summer. So I think I should warn you about the uh, content of this video because it might be boring if you're not into the uh, technical and uh, electrical stuff. If you're looking for a cool sailing video with you know sunshine and splashing waves and kind of stuff, it's not gonna happen on this video. But uh, if you're into the uh, building an outboard motor, this is the right video for you. Although I should warn also that uh, I have no education on the electricity or any kind of technical stuff, so there might be a lot of things that I gonna say here that are not true uh, because I don't know it yet uh, I've been learning on the way while I've been doing and uh, googling a lot of stuff so if you spot a thing that I you know said wrong or I have you know wrong calculations of something feel free to um, drop a comment below and uh, correct the stuff that I've been, you know, been mistaken. Okay, welcome back. Um, in the last update I promised something about uh, building a new uh, outboard motor for my boat, so here we are. This one over here is actually my second one. Um, the first one I had was a, a six horsepower uh, Emmy route built from 1966, so almost uh, 50 years old. But this one is a bigger one. And the problem with um, Emmy route was the uh, the fact that um, it was only six horsepower, so the uh, the propeller was too small. Uh, the uh, electric motor that I have uh, It's pretty strong and uh, what I found out was the um, the normal uh, outboard engine uh, like this one uh, They uh, run like four to six thousand rpm and the um, my electric motor only runs around 2000 rpm uh, in 24 volts so because it was only using like 40 percent of the uh, the power that the uh, the electric motor had uh, I need to get a bigger prop to get more power out of the motor so that's why I just bought this one just uh, bought it and uh, Pick it up. It's uh, 15 horsepower. It's uh, Finnish made. There he, uh, I think Walmet. Walmet is the uh, the uh, company that made this in the 70s, 80s. So yeah, this one, uh, the prop, as you can see, it's uh, much bigger than the in, uh, the six horsepower every route. The pitch is also deeper, so yeah, this should be good for this project. Uh, 
I hope I can uh, disassemble this um, tomorrow. So, let's get started. Okay, so I managed to uh, remove the, uh, the engine, as you can see, and the, um, I cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, I opened uh, the, uh, what do you call this, the bottom of the uh, outboard. I took it out and um, I removed the, um, the water pump. There was a turbine. Uh, rubber thing that is uh, I think it's supposed to you know lift the the cooling water up for the engine but I don't need any cooling uh, my um, electric uh, motor is is you know self cooling kind of some kind of a fan inside so it doesn't need any any cool water so I took it off uh, it created a little bit drag so now the uh, the shaft is, um, like as you can see, when I'm turning it up here, it's uh, it's a lot smoother now. So um, tomorrow I'm gonna start building the uh, the frame for the uh, the electric motor, and uh, also I need to. Um, find a solution to uh, connect the shafts together I have this I don't know whether it's a clunch or something uh, there's also a rubber thing kind of a star that goes between the um, the parts and uh, it smooths out the um, if there's any you know play between the shafts so it makes it good uh, it worked great with the um, the smaller engine, so I think I, it should be fine. So yeah, it's getting dark outside. I'm gonna get some sleep, and tomorrow I'm gonna continue and. Uh Hi there, I'm testing now my uh, new engine, uh, you see it over here, it's not that loud, you can hear, uh, so just gonna adjust the uh, autopilot, uh, it's now running full power, so we are doing 4.2 knots, I think, yeah, about 4.2, and uh, the uh, controller is down here, and as you can see it's now uh, consuming uh, 59 amps in 24 volts, uh, which is pretty good. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so what is Mergamori? Uh, Mergamori is a loose translation from the word beast mode. Oh, that's a cool car. Yeah. And uh, it means that I'm doubling the voltage uh, for my motor. 
the main voltage on my boat is 24 volts I have three pairs of batteries so there's a uh, six batteries all together but they are all paired uh, to make 24 volts each uh, so um, I have these big contactors that I can operate with a small switch so first I'm disconnecting one pair out of the system and then on the second stage I'm uh, connecting the other two battery pairs together so that they make 48 volts for the motor and the one pair is still giving the uh, 24 volts for the rest of the system so why do I need Mercamoli? There are situations um, when you have a lot of wind against you, you have a big waves and that kind of stuff. So then it's a good thing to have, you know, some extra power on reserve. So for that case, I'm gonna use the Mercamoli. And with Mercamoli, I'm um, doubling the, uh, the RPM of the motor. So I'm getting uh, like five and a half knots uh, when it's calm so yeah there's a lot more power when I double the voltage so that's the reason why I uh, why I built the Mercamoni okay so I'm cruising now uh, with the um, 24 volts and uh, as you can hear It's pretty quiet. Uh, this is the maximum speed of uh, 24 volts. Okay, uh, let's see what happens when I turn on the Mercamori, uh, which means the beast mode. Uh, it doubles the voltage, so it's gonna be uh, uh, 48 volts. So let's hear the difference. First, I'm gonna put the uh, throttle back down, then, I'm gonna switch like this this and now you can see it's uh, 48 volts and this is the difference as you can see I think the water makes the most of the noise controller it's a new controller as you can see here now I'm gonna put the throttle back down okay so that was the uh, example of using the Mercamori so how fast can I go with the boat well I've been running some tests and uh, to go uh, two knots uh, I'm uh, using around 10 to 15 amps and uh, every knot that I gain speed it's gonna about to double the uh, the amps that I've been that's been used so uh, with three knots I'm using around 30 amps and to get four knots it's gonna use around 60 amps and that is all in uh, 24 volts okay so let's wrap this up i hope you liked the video i know it was kind of a patchy video there was stuff shot in july august september even october but you know the whole project of building the electrical Outboard motor was a um, kind of a you know evolving project. So once I got something working, I found out that the other one didn't work, and I had to fix that. And then I I wanted to improve something, and uh, then I came up with the idea of Mercamori, which was not in the uh, original plans to you know use 48 volts. Uh, so yeah, I had to do it piece by piece. But still, I think there was some stuff that was left out. So I'm gonna do a blog post 
and uh, put all the stuff like um, where I bought the motor and the uh, controller, that kind of stuff. I'm gonna put those in my on my website, and gonna leave a, a link on the uh, description below so you can check it out. And also, uh, if you're not yet following me on Twitter or Google Plus. I'm gonna leave those links also below. I'm doing a lot of small updates like pictures and that kind of stuff, small videos on Google Plus. So, thank you for watching and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.